Good morning everyone. I'm just here to quickly show you what we're going to do for day one of our new reading book because this week we're going to trial doing phonics sessions and reading and writing sessions a bit more like we do at school rather than just using the Read Write Ink videos which are online. So I'm going to remind you of what we would do at school on the first day of reading our new book. So your first job is to watch the phonics session from Read Write Ink, the speed sound session if you haven't done already, and then you need to have a look at the first page of the PDF of the book that I've uploaded to your activity page this morning. So I've got one here, I've got this one which is for the yellow group for Tom Thumb. So some of you might have this, others of you might have a different one. But what we're going to do with the books is exactly the same. So first of all, just like in school, you need to read the circled sounds. So the circled sounds are the sounds here that have got a ring around them. So you can pause the video now and read your circled sounds and then when you've finished, come back and we'll look at the next thing. Circled sounds first. Off you go. Okay, next it will help you to look at the vowels that we've got down here. So if you read the sounds that are in bold, that's the black writing, the heavier writing, then that will help you read this story. So if you've got these in your book, have a go at them next. So remember that if they're in the same box, all the sounds that are in the box are the same. So I can see here I've got or, or and or in that box and over here I've got the E sound and another E sound there. So next try reading the sounds in these boxes if you've got them. If not you can go on to the next bit. So pause the video now and read these if you've got them. Okay our next bit to practice are our story green words. So remember, these words we read as special friends. Fred talk, read the word, just like we've done in our phonics sessions and on the phonics videos that I've recorded for you. So you need to read the words at the top. Special friends, Fred talk, read the words. Then the next two boxes are the same. They're still green words and we're still doing special friends, Fred talk, read the word. But this first box, you need to break the words down into syllables to help you read them. So if I have a look at it on here, you should be able to see that the first word is broken down into two syllables. We've got match and box. Put them together, match box. Let's look at this one. Special friends, t, Fred talk, b, a, uh, t. But, second syllable, special friends, no special friends. Fred talk, o, n, on, button, button. And that's how you put them together to read the word. Let's have a look at this word here. Special friends, ch, Fred talk, k, i, ch, kitch. Second syllable, e, n. N. Kitchen. So that's how you can read these syllable words. You can break them down so that you can read them more easily. Reading the first syllable, then the second syllable, and then putting the word together. Finally, at the bottom, we have our suffix words. And on these, you need to read the root word first, which is this word here. And then you need to read the word with the suffix on the end of it. Let's have a look at the first one together. So we've got ch at chat and then here I can see we've got ed on the end which makes it chatted, chatted. So pause the video now and read your story green words. This is really important because these are all of the words that are going to be in the story. So you need to be able to read them first before you'll be able to read our story. 
have a go now. Special friends, Fred talk, read the word. Look at the ones in your book that you've got on your activity tab. Okay, if you've done your story green words, we're now going to do our red words, which are on the next page in this book, but they might be underneath in your book. Remember, red words are ones that we can't sound out. So you just need to be able to say these straight away when you look at them. So if you're not sure, ask an adult to help you and then make sure you learn those words so that you can read the story nice and easily. If you've got some challenge words, now is the time to read the challenge words as well. When you've done that, come back and we'll have a look at our speedy words before we begin reading the story. Okay, if you've just read your red words and your challenge words, if there are any in your book, it's time for our speedy words. Now in school we have these on the whiteboard and they flash up as they go around and we practice reading them speedily. So these are words that you should be able to read by saying the word straight away without having to do Fred talk, read the word. So you can choose today, you can either read the words in columns or you can read the words in rows. You choose. But the idea is that you can read these speedily so that you can look at the word and say it straight away because that will really help improve your reading. So have a go at reading the speedy green words, the speedy words, sorry, either in columns or rows and then come back and I will read you the story introduction for your book before you begin your own reading. Well done if you've practiced reading your speedy words at the back and you can read them really speedily. Well done. So, our book today, Yellow Group, is called Tom Thumb. And I actually have a copy of the book here with me at home, which is really lucky. So I'm going to read you the story introduction for your book before you begin doing your reading. Are you ready? Here we go. This is the story of Tom Thumb, who was so small that he was barely the size of a man's thumb. He used a matchbox as a bed and an egg cup as a bath. When he got dressed, he wore a button as a cap, an elastic band as a belt, and a tiny jacket which he's borrowed from a doll. Tom Thumb loved to play outside with the insects. He would skip along the bank of the pond where he chatted to the finches and visited the frogs. One day, when he was jumping into the pond with his frog friends, a big fish spotted him and gulped him up, thinking he would make a tasty snack. Help! yelled Tom Thumb from inside the fish's tummy, but no one heard him. Not long after, a man caught the fish with his rod and sold it to the king's chef. As he cut it open to prepare it for a banquet, out stepped Tom Thumb. The chef thought for a while about what he could do with the tiny boy before he had an idea. Maybe I could put him into a dish for the king. I've got a question for you to have a think about. What do you think the king will say when he finds Tom Thumb? in his dish. You can have a think about that question before you read the story. And then it is time to start our book. So if you've got an adult at home, what you might want to do, or even if you've got a brother or sister, you might want to read a page each. So they could point to the words for you while you read page one, and then you could point to the words for them while they read page two, or the other way around. Or if you want to, you can read the whole book yourself, but remember, it's much better if you read aloud so that everyone who's listening can check the words as you're reading them. And remember, if you get to a red word and you're not sure what it is, then you'll need to ask your adult or someone at home. All the other words, remember, you can do special friends, Fred talk, read the word to help you read the book. I hope that was useful. 
good luck with your reading and I'll do another video for you tomorrow.